Thank you for Soteria to invite us to this conference. Um, thank you to Mr. Roux to um, this description of uh, the situation in France. And he, he make a part of my job, so thank you. <laughs> but I will stress a point um, of what he said, that this problem he, he has been created about a no problem. What I mean is cult or sect in France is, a, is not a problem. And I will, during my demonstration, give you some example of what has been said during all these years by ministry, by leaders about this problem, which is not a problem. That all these things have been created by the government, but not on fact, just on rumors. So it will be part of my presentation. So just to present the association, the association starts in 2000, and it starts with an event, an event organized by the United States in France. So let me find out, sorry. Yes, um, on March 2000, an international commission of uh, inquiry made of experts from the United States and open government in Paris, formed on the initiative of Irving, Irving, uh, Irving, the founding president of the NGO Finance of the United, United Nations. The commission heard the testimony of over 300 people who came from all corners of France to speak out against the discrimination they endured during the hearing. It emerged that a successful government had put an administration arsenal in place contrary to the principle of freedom of opinion and belief. So from this event, start the coordination after this event people that testimony of this discrimination want to do something so the coordination have been created after this event so now go to uh, uh, mr Roux talk about the um the law abu pika at the time of the law the religious leaders um, speak out about the law and they denounce this law as dangerous. For instance, the, the rabbin of France denounced this law as dangerous for all the communities religious, Catholic, Jewish, or Protestant. Because uh, he said that any religious conventions can be a manipulation. So the government didn't hear these leader, religious leaders. They pass the, they pass the law. And this, the, um, and even like said Eric, the European, the European Assembly said the French should review this law, and the French continues to pass this law. Even there was no problem, no case, and the major religious leaders in France was against the law. So it was really um, a purpose of the government to have this law. Uh, after that, they create the Mivilud. This is an uh, interministry uh, coordination against the cults. So the purpose of this Mivilud was to find case. There was no case in the country. So they have the problem to find case to explain the law, to say, yes, we, we have now this law, but how to apply this law, to who we can go to apply this law. And in 2011, they, um, they do an event, because 2001, 2011, it was the anniversary of the law. So there was all the panel of the representative of Anticult Association, president of the Mivilud, and former president of the Mivilud. It was all the panel. And to the simple question, how many cases after 10 years one, related to a cult. Many others, as said Eric, related to civil crime, but only one related to cult. So this specific law was did for cult, and after 10 years, there are only one case. So it showed during all these years, they, they do the parliamentary, parliamentary inquiry about 
Kjöld, Kjöld on Children's, Kjöld on, um, and all the person said we have no case. For instance, in 2006, they, they do this inquiry in parliamentary. Ministry of Justice, Gendarmerie, Minister of Interior, National Education to come to the inquiry. And the president of the inquiry, George Fennec, asked them, how many cases do you have? And they said, no, we have no case of problem related to cults. And even he got these te testimonies from official person, Mr. Fennec continues to say in the media, we have a lot of problem with cults. We have a lot of problem with children. He said to media, we have 50,000 kids in danger in cults. But all the ministry during this inquiry said we have no problem. And media really response. And we have some weird things from George Fennec to media to media said we have 50,000, 30,000, 20,000, 70,000, changing number by number, but the media relay still the power of the mevilude, but don't relay the power of the person on the ground that did the investigation on school, on jail, on a, on a civil society about this problem, and they find nothing. Some cases, some one or two cases of problem with maybe kids of Jehovah Witnesses. Even the, the person from a national education said from the commission, if the only problem we have in school will be the problem with the kids of Jehovah's Witnesses, it will be not a problem. Because the problem in national education right now is violence, drugs, suicide, but not kids from Jehovah's Witnesses. But even of that, the Mivilud continues this campaign about this is a big problem. And now they try to, to go to European level to, to uh, export this model. And which way they find to export this model is to say that the kids are in danger because children is very sensible problem. You know, everybody will be sensible to problem of children inside the cult. So they try to to do a commission inside European institution to put this problem of children inside the cult. Even he knows in, in his own country there is no problem. So the government from the Mivilu do that. But the, what do also the French government? They finance anti-cult association. All the anti-cult association in France, there are three major anti-cult association, are funded by the French government at almost 90%. So how we call people by a, by a government, not civil society, but civil servant. They come from, they are people from administration. What the government try with this association to, to create still the problem because association on the ground try to find people, you do yoga, you do, Whatever you do, they try to find you and to say, hey, we found a cult, we found a cult, you know. They, they, for two persons do, doing some gymnastic or yoga or whatever, they put the police on them. They raid them. Uh, in 2006 or seven, the Mivilud organized five raids against communities. Christian communities, uh, yoga communities, or Protestant communities. They organize raids with police, with media, to create the problem. And they find anything. In each time, in the community I've been raided, there was nothing. Just only people trying to live in peace. You know? But the media is the main problem we have. Really, always the communication about cults, about problems inside cults, but don't really the truth that after the emotion of the Reds, nothing happened, you know? So they tried to export this model also with the fakeries, with the of, uh, European Federation. So this European Federation with an NGO, non-governmental organization, is funding at 100% by the French government, something 
maybe you can explain to me how we can call non-governmental organization funding at 100% by a government. You know, it's just a lobby and it's clearly said by the Mivilud and the different president of the Mivilud that the factories is a lobby, open lobby of the Mivilud. With the factories, they go, uh, the factories have been organized by, uh, uh, have the statu uh, ECOSOC statue, and uh, they also recognized as NGO by the Council of Europe. And they lobby these, uh, those institutions to pass the French model. But this French model is a lie. There is nothing behind that. It's just the way to, to put the mental manipulation, manipulation law at European level. The purpose of Fennec, he said clearly, is to create a mivilude at European level. And we can have maybe some example of what do the factories, like in Russia, like in Russia. You know, for example, in Russia, the vice president of the factories is Alexander Dvorkin. So in a statue of the factories, they said they are non-politic and non-religious group. And the vice president, Alexander Dvorkin, is an orthodox person. And all that funding by the French government. For instance, um, Georges Fenech in 2009 met the president and ambassador of the Kazakhstan. Five, six months after, the Kazakhstan passed a law, uh, a law Abu Pika. And they said in their own, what I said is all on a review, is not something, we, they, they publish that, they are very proud to say, look what we did in Kazakhstan. You know, even uh, when the law of uh, Abu Pika was passed, the two countries that uh, give some felicitation to France was China and Iran. China, because of the persecution of the Falun Gong, basically they said, if France did it, why we cannot did it? And Iran, it was with the Bayah. We are not recognized as religion in Iran. They, feel, they give congratulations to the friends because they said now we have a, a French model, we have an European model we can apply in our country. So the, the country of the democracy, the country of the human rights is a model for China, for Iran, for Kazakhstan, for Russia. You know, this is not what we want to export. And the purpose of the association is really to denounce that European level. And this little booklet is did for that, to say all this thing is based on no problem. It has been all created by media, by Mivilud, and by government. They, even, they was not able to find a problem with Jehovah's Witnesses, children, or any children in any cults. But they want at European stress the point that children are in danger. So um, this point has been condemned by different institutions, uh, European institutions, that the political front is based on nothing, that they are uh, opposite to the uh, declaration of uh, uh, the possibility of freedom of religion or belief. But still, Francis continues to lobby at European lobby this model. Thank you. Thank you. Um, for this, uh, and again, there are many threads in what you say. It is a broad thing, but um, what uh, is very clear about you speak about these uh, raids, these attacks, the uh, that you have to. Uh, afterwards invent cases to uh, uh, legitimize your... For, for instance, one, one of the raids was did on a little community in the west of France. It was like maybe 10, 15 person. They were just practicing yoga and you know. And uh, Mr. Fennec at this time came with the police, come with the media, come with the um, uh, opinion leaders, and they really uh, do a show. It was a show. And the people have been raided, they feel violated. It's, it, it, it's, it's like a rape for them. Because they open the door thinking that this guy is coming like friendly. But he was not at all friendly. He was just to 
sh um, to do a show for the media. We find a cult. Look, these 15 people living inside these little communities. And uh, in 2006, he did uh, to Tabitha's place. I did like a big, big show. He come with media and parliamentary and police and so on. And they find one kid not able to answer to the question uh, about a, a famous French footballer, uh, Zinedine Zidane, and the kids didn't know who is Zinedine Zidane. And all the media said, look, this is a cult. The kids don't know Zinedine Zidane. <laughs> look, <laughs> you understand. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. <laughs> In, indeed. Uh, we, we, uh, if, do we have any uh, questions shortly for Thierry regarding this? We have a question down there. So I would uh, like to know if, in, in your opinion, in your research, are there some uh, traces of the, the reason why these things are happening? Because what you describe, Exactly this episode with Zinedine Zidane, uh, I personally experienced uh, 15 years ago, exactly the same. A lot of media, a hundred policemen uh, breaking through a yoga hall where 350 practitioners were just doing yoga. And they show us on the media being completely brainwashed and uh, zombies and all kinds of names like that. They were asking about Haji, not Zinedine Zidane because it's, uh, but identical, the, the, just as in another country, from the other side of Europe. And then, of course, my question is, from all these uh, studies, if there is exactly the same modus operandi, it must be a cause, a common cause, that is generating all these things. And it can't be just uh, an error, a fluke of the system. It can't be. I, I personally, I'm a scientist. I cannot uh, take that. So um, I'm asking, did you came across, like, how uh, to say, the what is behind? Uh, yes, we, we, we try uh, with the association and the member of the association to have this reflection. Uh, what is behind that? Uh, it's very hard to answer because uh, it's uh, like a formating people. In France, we want to have a formating people. You know, we, we, uh, we are for the uh, multiculturalism, but we want one culture, we want one religion, we want one politics party, and everything out of that should be uh, is a, is dangerous for demo dangerous quote quote for the democracy. So the anti cult uh, um, activities is a good way to uh, if you find an enemy for your democracy is to say you are a cult and you are out of the, of, of the game, you know? And uh, this, um, this thing can be used by any government. It's so easy. I've been done by, like said uh, Mr. Rowe, I've been done by the Nazi, I've been done by Mussolini, you know? You, you just put a label on people you don't want in your country, and actually the label sect is the one who is working. 